What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and it's time to go through the road to the Wimbledon title for Serena Williams, the GOAT of Wimbledon. She's won seven times here before. She's actually made the last four finals of Wimbledon, winning two of those, and she's looking to get that record. We all know about the record, but how will she make it through? Because she has some tough opponents. Let's go check out who she has to play in the first round. So Serena's first round opponent is going to be Sansnovich, who she's actually never played against. So based on experience, you would expect that Serena will get through. Her next opponent is possibly going to be fellow American Pera, who she actually has a winning record over 1-0, but the time they played was last year, and it was a three-setter. So it's going to be a tough match for Serena against a fellow American. But things get really, really tough if she makes it to the third round because she might have to face the 25th seed and former Wimbledon champion, Angelique Kerber. Now, Serena does have a 6-3 record over Kerber, so she has a winning record. But at Wimbledon, it's squared up at one apiece. And of course, the latest one of those being in the final a couple of years ago in 2018. So Serena is going to have to turn back the clock if she's going to beat Kerber in that third round. Serena makes it into the fourth round. There are two big names that she's going to have to watch out for. First one being Coco Goff. And interestingly enough, she's actually never played against Goff before. So that would be a first time meeting. And I'll tell you what, I think that's what we all want. We want a battle of the generations with Goff being obviously the next generation and Serena being the GOAT. But then also we've got to watch out for Bencic because Serena could be playing against Bencic in the fourth round. And Serena does have a 2-1 winning record over Bencic. So, so if Serena is going to play either of those names, she'll be liking her chances. Into the quarterfinals now and there are two big names that she's got to watch out for. The first one, the number three seed, Svetlina, who Serena has a 5-1 winning record over. So again, she'll be loving her chances if she does have to play Svetlina in the quarterfinals. And the other one being the number 19 seed, Mukova, who she also has a winning record over, 1-0. So again, Serena will be loving her chances if she does have to play either of those in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, there are two opponents and two Grand Slam champions that she might have to face. The first one being the world number one, Ash Barty. Now, Serena does have a 2-0 head-to-head record over Barty, so she will love that matchup if they do play. And the other being the number five seed, Andrescu, who she has a losing record against, 0-2. and two. So Serena, if she had her pick, she'd rather play Barty than Andrescu, but either of those matches is going to be absolute fire, and Serena's going to have to fight to get to the final. If she does make it into the final, there'll be three opponents that might be in her way. The first one being the number two seed, Sabalenka, who she has a 1-0 record over, beating her at the Australian Open earlier this year. It's a very close match though, so Serena's going to have to play well. The other being the number four seed, Kennan, who she has a losing record against, losing a match at the French Open a couple of years ago to Kennan, so maybe the faster courts will help Serena against someone like Kennan. And the third one being the number seven seed, Iga Fiontech, who she's never played before, so if she does play her in the final, she'll probably like her chances, seeing she has way more experience than Fiontech at the moment. So there it is, the road to the title for Serena Williams. Can she break the record at Wimbledon 2021? Let me know down in the comments below, how far can she Serena go. Like I said, she's made the last four finals of Wimbledon, and she's won two of those finals in the last four times that the tournament's been played, and I think she can do it. So Serena Williams, she's playing for history this year at Wimbledon. Can she get to the final, and can she win?